point of putting tile on tile. This is a primer specifically designed to put tile on tile. And again, I, I think in 20 plus years, I've only set tile on top of tile. This is probably the third time I have a need for it once in a while, but I try not to do it and, and I don't like doing it. Um, but in this case, I'm going to for the reasons that I already enumerated. This is Echo Prime Grip by Mepi. And this is the product that you want to use if you're going to set tile on top of tile. It has silica. I don't know what the other components of this stuff is, but um, it has silica in it, which uh, makes it so that it grips the thin set. Um, and so I'm probably going to end up putting two coats on. Right now I'm doing the perimeter area. Um, actually, I'm not doing the perimeter, but uh, the perimeter is being done. Uh, so once this, is, once this is brushed on the perimeter area, then I'm going to come in with a roller and do uh, the whole field area, let that dry, and then uh, probably put a second coat on. Uh, yeah, probably about this close up. And the reason I'm using a brush, I don't want to mess up the baseboards and I don't want to mess up carpet and the cabinets and all that stuff. So I'm just shy of, uh, when I'm doing the perimeter, I'm just shy of, of all of the stuff that uh, can get this stuff on it. It is, a, a, for all intents and purposes, a water-based product, so it does clean up, but um, it says on the directions that you gotta clean up right away, and therefore, I'm still a little cautious. But, you know, it'll work, and that's where I'm at now. Um, by the time the day is done, this whole floor will be prepped and ready for tile. This is the final result with two coats on this, uh, on this tile that I'm putting tile onto. This is a great stuff. I like this. Um, I wish there were 4D or 5D that you could feel this. It's very, very rough. When I said there was silica, uh, they weren't kidding. It's like sand. I don't know how well this shows up on video, but uh, well, it shows up pretty good. Yeah, this is very, very rough material. This is, this is definitely something you want to use if you're going to be putting tile on tile. Uh, it's, it's wonderful, I like it. It actually feels like a waterproofer. It feels like Red Guard with sand mixed in it. Um, that's what it feels like. I don't know if it scrapes up. I don't know how careful you have to be. I'm sure it does. Not easily though. Yeah, this doesn't come off real easy. That's wonderful too, I like that. I don't have to worry about this floor walking around on it until I get to the tiling portion. And uh, yeah. So, highly, highly recommend this stuff. Uh, if you just need some type of texture, then uh, this is the go to product. One thing I'm not very good at, and that's the consistency of my leveling. <laughs> it looks like a mess, a hodgepodge of different directions, those are more on point when I use these things. Um, I wanted to talk about this uh, tile on tile uh, once again, now that I've showed you the product. It's just amazing, you know, I showed you close up before. Um, it's just, it's like sand. So I've been in here ever since I painted that, probably five days ago. I've been in here working, I've been in here slinging tools around, slinging mortar, doing all this different stuff, and none of it has peeled up. It's, it's like, it's so, so permanent, I guess, for lack of a better term. And it's just wonderful, you know? I'm just gonna tile right on top of tile into the toilet closet area, and I've already done all this, and it's just, it's absolutely wonderful. I can't say enough about it. In fact, it's so grainy, and it's so nice looking gray, like you could probably do your garage, I don't know if somebody's tried it before, but you could do your garage floor with this, with a roller, you know, and, make it look really nice, get some traction. Um, but yeah, that's how you tile over tile when you don't have a choice. Like I said, probably third time ever that I've done this and the other two times that I did it was a whole lot different um, than this. And then I have uh, my little transition going up so that it's not, it doesn't bump your toes or anything. It just goes, goes kind of at an angle. So. Um, I feel sorry for the guy that tears out this floor in the future. Holy moly, he's gonna be surprised. Hey, if you enjoyed that video and you learned something, consider being a Patreon member. 
five, ten, fifteen dollars a month would help me greatly produce more videos. I make nothing from YouTube at all. If you're gonna call me for advice, please donate fifty dollars for thirty minutes. My link to my PayPal and my Patreon account is down below. You can click on those, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get immediate notifications as soon as I post videos. And thank you very much for your support.